I want to say thank you to everybody who decided to watch this video. I want to send a special shout out to my patrons and Twitch subscribers. You guys help me make this channel better. And I want to say enjoy the show. So this is a story that our good friend Joe gave us the other night. And um... Is it bad that I'm not surprised about this? Is it bad that I'm not surprised about this? I, I'm not really surprised about it. I, 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 I'm not surprised about this at all. So, here it goes. Trump threatened to out confidential report, so, uh, confidential sources from Russia to investigate a report. Mr. I care about national secrets and shit like that. Mr. I'm the best to protect you guys in the country and all that other bullshit. He throws a fucking hissy fit when he doesn't get his way. And uh, let's 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 actually hear. We can actually listen to the audio. Let's let's go. Just a quick word from our sponsor. Shut Family up. Dollar has more for Halloween. Find everything oh for the God. perfect oh, celebration. Actually, Costume this is accessories, where I got the Halloween decorations, shit from. and a huge variety Last of year. candy. Family Dollar, helping you do more. Trump threatened to out confidential sources from Russia investigation report. Donald Trump considered exposing the identities of confidential government sources from his first impeachment, according to a bombshell new report. So he actually wanted to be like, oh yeah, no, this is the shit. Like, you fucking come at me? I'm gonna report all of the fucking sources. Let's go. Also, when Swabese Eing and Adam Ronsley reported for Rolling Stone, the final days of his presidency, he repeatedly threatened to out government sources involved in the Trump Russia investigation, an anti deep state revenge fantasy he still obsesses over to this day, according to two former senior Trump aides and another person familiar with the matter. So. He is so fixated on, of course I didn't lose. Of course it wouldn't. Like, dog, you are surrounded by an echo chamber. Yes, you fucking lost. Joe Biden had more votes. And because he's so fucking deranged and manic that he's like, oh, well, if I'm going down, everybody's going down. This shit is stupid. But let's go. One of these sources tells Rolling Stone that in the days after the January 6th Capitol riot, the then president, sometimes while brandishing pieces of paper, would loudly complain that none of the identifying facts in the highly sensitive Russia documents should be blacked out. Trump would insist, the source says, that it should all be out there so that the American people could see the truth of who did it to the president. So, in other words, he wanted to put people's name out there, names out there, so he can sick his fucking sycophantic mob on people. That's fucking unbelievably stupid. But let's go. Intelligence officials were ultimately able to talk Trump out of revealing the source's identities. One source told the magazine Trump's fixation on a topic is ongoing. The former president, the source says, still sporadically talks about the need to get the names out into the public record, the magazine reported. Trump's threats to out sources were part of a broader push during the chaotic end of his presidency. In December of 2020, as the odds against a successful overturning of the election grew longer, Trump and his chief of staff Mark Meadows pushed the Justice Department to declassify a binder full of records related to the FBI's 2016 Russia investigation. He wanted somebody to fucking pay. Like, he was literally trying to push that information out there, get the names of whoever investigating them, sources, and sometimes, like, this is foreign assets where... They're in compromised positions where they can be lost. But let's go. Let's 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 finish reading this shit up. The binder was never released in full. Trump, meanwhile, has reportedly continued to seek the release of Russia investigation related documents, Rolling Stone noted. The former president reportedly tried to barter with the National Archives to hand back presidential records held at his Mar-a-Lago residence in exchange for the release of an unspecified batch of documents he believed would reflect poorly on the FBI's 2016 Russia investigation. So he's blackmailing them now. Great, because reasons and shit like that, right? But let's continue. According to the New York Times, Re, former J6 advisor, the most important part of the January 6th investigation isn't about Trump. Read the full report. Just a quick word for- 
All right, so that was an interesting time. So, yeah, what a piece of shit that person is. Donald Trump is a piece of shit, and all he cares about is himself. He doesn't care about his voters, his, his supporters, or his fans. He only cares about himself. So why are people still following his dumb ass? Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, a lot of other good shit. And um, we're going to cut the segment off here.